important thing that you need to know is how to differentiate between an inflammatory and a non-inflammatory arthritis. In case if it's an inflammatory arthritis, apart from having swelling, warmth and erythema, or the joint patients are going to suffer from early morning stiffness. That's very, very important and can be asked in exams. That's called as early morning stiffness. And it's going to last for at least minimum 30 minutes, but in general, it's going to last for at least an hour. And the pain and stiffness in the setting of inflammatory arthritis is going to definitely improve with motion and exercise. That's a very, very important point. In non-inflammatory arthritis like osteoarthritis, pain will actually increase with excessive movement and uh, exercise. But in the setting of inflammatory arthritis, pain is going to actually improve with motion and joint usage. And of course, in the setting of inflammatory arthritis like rheumatoid arthritis, you have to definitely watch for extra articular features as well. We'll talk about that in detail later on. And you have to definitely assess the number and the pattern of the affected joints as well. Like for example, if only one joint is involved, that's called as monoarthritis. And most often than not, monoarthritis will be involving a large joint like knee joint. If less than five joints are involved, it is oligoarticular. If five or more joints are involved, it will be polyarticular. When it comes to pattern, you need to know whether it's a symmetric arthritis or whether it's a asymmetric arthritis. Generally, Monoarticular means it must be asymmetric because only one joint is involved. Less than five also will be usually asymmetric. Most of the times your polyarticular involvement will be symmetric in general. This is not a rule, but in general, this is what we see in clinical practice. Apart from that, we have other patterns like additive pattern, migratory pattern and repetitive pattern. There are many different types of arthritis that is not important at the undergrad level though.